In this video, we demonstrate how to configure LAN side IPv4 and IPv6 static route, OSI data single port ON use, to enable LAN side devices access the upper layer network across network segment. Let's look at the internet topology first. The internet connects to the ON use 1 port. The router connects to the ON use LAN port. These are the IP addresses of the ON use 1 port and LAN port, routers Ethernet 1 and Ethernet 2 interfaces, and PC. The IPv4 and IPv6 addresses of the Ethernet 1 and Ethernet 2 interfaces of the router belong to two different networks. Now we can start a LAN side network access test across network segments. Let's check the ONU IP address in the ONU web portal. The one port has received the IPv4 and IPv6 addresses from the upper layer internet. The IPv4 address of the LAN port belongs to the network segment of 101. And the IPv6 address belongs to the network segment of 88. Let's have a look at the IP addresses of the router interfaces. The IPv4 address of the Ethernet 1 interface belongs to the network segment of 101. The Ethernet 2 interface belongs to the network segment of 89. The IPv6 address of the Ethernet 1 interface is link local address, but the Ethernet 2 interface belongs to the network segment of 89. The IPv4 and IPv6 addresses of the two interfaces belong to different network segments. Next, Let's take a look at the IPv4 and IPv6 addresses of the PC that connects to the Ethernet 2 interface of the router. The IPv4 and IPv6 addresses of the PC belongs to the same network segment as the Ethernet 2 interface of the router, which is the network segment of 89. These are the IPv4 and IPv6 addresses of the devices to be tested. Let's configure the IPv4 static route. Click on Internet and then Static Route. Click on Add. The destination network segment is the IPv4 network segment where the PC is located. Use 255.255.255.0 as mask. Use the IP address of the Ethernet 1 interface of the router as the next hop. Click on Confirm. Let's see whether the ONU successfully pinged the IPv4 network that belongs to the network segment of 89. Click on Diagnosis and then Ping. Enter the IP address of the Ethernet 2 interface of the router to host and then click on Ping. The IPv4 address of the LAN side, showing that the 89 subnet is already pingable. The IP address of the Ethernet 2 interface belongs to the network segment of 89.1, while the ONU LAN port is connected to the Ethernet 1 interface with an IP address of the network segment of 101. It means the two Ethernet interfaces belong to different network segments. But the ONU can ping the IP address of the network segment of 89 after we adding a static route. We can use the original IP address of the PC to ping a website, which means that the static route of the IPv4 has been successfully added. Next, we will configure the static route of the IPv6. Follow the same procedure as configuring the IPv4 static route. Select IPv6. The destination is the network segment of 89. The prefix length is 64. Use the IPv6 address of the Ethernet 1 interface of the router as the next hop. Select LAN in the Interface section. Click on Confirm. Let's ping test whether the IPv6 static route has been added successfully. Enter the IPv6 address of the PC into the host field, then click on Ping. We can now see that the ping test is successful. We are now testing if we can ping Google's IPv6 address. The results show it was successful. The network status page also shows that the IPv6 internet is connected. This is the method to configure LAN side IPv4 and IPv6 static route or see data single port ONUs.